Hello, hello, and welcome to this video. Good morning if you're watching this in the morning, which I hope you are. Now, what I got for you today is a card pull from the deck, the Lightseer's Tarot deck. And then I'm also going to read uh, some passages from a book you may not have heard of. It is called The Game of Life and How to Play It, and it is by someone called Florence Scovel Shin. She started writing, I think it was in 1925 or so. Seriously, kind of like, like one of those authors that knew about the law of attraction and how the world work and energetics and all of that. Um, I'm just seeing if it shows what year she started. Way back when, right? An incredible lady. So if you don't know, uh, or if you haven't heard of her or seen any of her stuff, it's her name is Florence Scoville. Sorry, I got the book cover off. So I'm going to just see S-C-O-V-E-L Shin, S-H-I-N-N. That is her name. And I've got an edited version, um, one of the newer versions of this book, The Game of Life and How to Play It, because it's a very, very old book. But it so it also has a lot of language in there about God and about the word man. You know how they used to write. So it, sometimes that's a little odd. But you know what? Try reading it. It's so It's so cool. It is get your mind in the right, like get you in the right framework. It gets you thinking these in a different way. And she gives you so many types of like affirmations or sayings to say, or I write them down and use them like daily as like little affirmations. And I'm going to give you one of my favorites in that. So let's get started. Okay. Today I pulled the eight, like it matches my shirt, the eight of wands. Or is that upside down? Nope. That's right. The eight of wands. There we go. Now, the Eight of Wands means fast change, great change, speedy change. But it doesn't mean that we need to talk about just things being fast or fast moving now, but it could be something that's, I'm just going to the page that I had with the information about it. It could mean that something's coming into your life that's going to create change quite quickly. Now, sometimes this can seem scary and be like, I don't want change to come and whip me because it can take you off guard and it can... If you're feeling like, oh my God, it can shake your foundation. When we have a really strong grounded foundation in something and something comes along that just flips it upside down, it kind of changes in force. It can feel scary. Our nervous system can go, oh, I don't like this. It can bring up fear, worry, and anxiety. But let's not go there. What we're learning through all these teachings in the mornings is that you are control in control of your state of being. You can help relax your body, calm your nervous system down, bring yourself fully present into the present moment. Because when we're in a high stress state, we don't have problem solving, like our, we can't access our problem solving skills. We're not creative, we can't access our creativity because we're too much in fight or flight. And that's exactly what you need in times of change. So remember that, always gonna bring yourself back to the fully present moment, hand on your heart, doing some breathing, feeling into your body, feeling into your body, and knowing that you always have the support from God's source universe, always. Your invisible support. Remember your invisible support. Not only you, your higher self, your soul, your being, because you can handle anything, but also God's source universe. You have the um, support of a higher power. So don't forget that when you're thinking about change. But change can also mean amazing, wonderful, great things that come. You could win millions of dollars. You could be, someone could ask you to marry them that you've been wanting to. Like you're, you could be getting a new grandchild, right? There's amazing change. That's beautiful and wonderful that can happen too. So always focus on the best. Okay, what does it say? Light speed, eight of wands hurdle their way through the universe, gathering the momentum and the energy they need as they go. What started out as one quickly became two and then three until all the wands had joined the flight in quick succession. The, in a rush because there's still so much that they need to convey and so many experiences to bring forth. So that's the thing too. You can think of change as, wow, how exciting. What other amazing things are going to happen because of this? What other amazing things are going to happen because of this? Change brings change within us. If we go with the flow. <laughs> if you choose to think of it as positive, there's always a message. There's always a lesson. There's something we're meant to grow into, right? 
They draw inspiration from the galaxies and the star clusters that they dart past. Star after star, their energies collide and merge, and they move faster and faster until the velocity causes their tips to ignite. So that's just some of that. And then we're going to go into the message of the card. Now is time for swift movement. It may be the for, in the form of travel or in the form of energies taking shape. You know those moments in life when change happens so quickly that it almost like a wildfire has set everything ablaze, right? Just what I said. And it's now, if you have a gut feeling that needs to be acted upon, listen to it. And now is the time. 2024 is absolutely the time of change. It is the year of transformation. That's what we're going to be hit with. Anything that needs to kind of change in your life, maybe to be brought up for your attention, so that you make change, right? It's been something you've been putting off, something you've been pushing down, something you've been ignoring, something you've been procrastinated. It's going to come up. It's going to be, you're going to be reminded of it over and over again until you actually make the change or make the move, right? Quick action is either, is easier when you know where you are headed so that you don't feel like you are being swept along by an unpredictable tide. It's time to get clear on your goals and your desires and the direction so that you can harness this beautiful win window and get yourself ready to cover a lot of ground. So that's just kind of what we're going to um, talk about today is that you, when you choose kind of like, this is how I'd like my life to be. This is the direction I'd like my life to go. This is how I'd like to feel each day. These are some intentions I have for even just today, right? Like we're talking about setting your intentions for today. I choose to, today I choose to feel love and joy. Today I choose to feel um, confident and positive. Today I choose to come from a place of love. Today I choose to have powerful, intimate conversations. Today I choose to be nice to coworkers no matter what is said. Today I choose to be smiley and make people smile back at me. Today I choose to give compliments to those I see. Like these are the type of intentions. Today I choose to see what miracles are going to happen to me. Today I choose to be open to miracles. Today I choose to be open to possibilities and opportunities. Right? That's what we're talking about, intention setting. So let's move to the book. Here's one of my favorite things that she, she has so many within her book about things to recite. If you can't think of like different affirmations, this is one of my favorite ones. Infinite spirit, open the way for the divine design of my life to manifest. Let the genius within me now be released. Let me see clearly the perfect plan, my perfect contribution to all. That's so good, isn't it? Infinite spirit, open the way for the divine design of my life to manifest. Let the genius within me now be released. Let me see clearly the perfect plan, my perfect contribution to all. And you can say that every single day, every morning. I suggest, I used to have this taped in on my mirror in the bathroom. Um, so what the page I opened up to you is... Another quote that she said, this is, I love this book again, because at the end of each chapter, she has things called essential points. That means she goes over bullet points on the most important things covered in that chapter. I love that. Because sometimes I've read this book and I've highlighted it and I've read it so many times. It's so, and look at I've dog-eared pages and everything. You can go back to these chapters and just read the bullet points if you want. When you're feeling you need that uplift, right? One of them is says, I'm always under direct inspiration. I quickly make the best decisions. So sometimes we get ourselves, we're stressed. We can't make decisions. We're like, oh, no, 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 no. So when you ground yourself, hold on to your heart, right? Calm, be fully present in the moment. You can say, I'm always under direct inspiration. I quickly make the best decisions, or I know that I will make the best decision in this case. God, source, universe is guiding me to make the best decision. You can say all of those things, right? Uh, so that's kind of where I landed was on that. I just love that. Um, feel the feelings of having the circumstance be the most wonderful experience you can imagine. So that again, when you're thinking of your day and there may be something that you may not be looking forward to, it's kind of like, oh, I'm really not looking forward to this. I think it's gonna be this way. Right now, you can imagine the situation being the way you want it to go. 
setting the intention. This is how I am choosing for this situation to go today. And you imagine the scene, you feel it, and you feel the love and the respect and the happiness and the joy and the non-confrontation or whatever, right? It's going to go smoothly. It's going to go in the best way for me. So feel the feelings of having the circumstance be the most wonderful experience you can imagine. It doesn't mean it's the happiest thing in your life. It just means I'm choosing for it to be go the best today that it can go for me. It's going to be the best situation for me. Um, that's totally what we can do. It's really choosing our life. It's designing our life. And I love to say the word design because that to me, that's it's better than choosing because I'm such a visual person. I think it's working more with all of us. I'm just going to read in this one other part that I opened up. Um, each of us comes into the world fin financed by the source of all that is. All the supply needed for a perfect self-expression will be at hand as we're ready for it. Um, as we're ready for it, as we state we're ready for it, as we feel we're ready for it, as we ask God for guidance so that we can be ready for it and we are becoming ready for it. You see what I mean? It's all about... Um, the right things come to you at the right time. You are ready and those situations will happen. Being ready means if you just ignore it, you don't think about it, you don't focus on it, you don't imagine it, you're not going to be ready for it. So you can say all you want that you want something in the future. But if you're so scared, if you're like, okay, well, I want that to happen. But right now, this is my life and this is happening and this is sucky and this is terrible. And I'm so pissed off that this is, that is keeping you in that state. That is not getting you ready for the good stuff. <laughs> So the best you can do is whatever is happening in your life right now, it is what it is. Let it go means to stop focusing and thinking of it, right? Don't focus on it because what you focus on expands, right? So you want to decrease what you don't want to expand in your life and increase what you do want to expand in your life. That's really the secret. It really, really is. So imagine, intend, talk it out, choose, design it, imagine it, feel it, all of those things. Okay. Hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you're enjoying these. Uh, feel free to share. Give me a like, give me a love on this. I'd love to hear your comments. And I'm going to write that little affirmation um, that I read to you. And I just closed the book. Um, in the first comment below. So you have it and you can write it down too. All right. I will see you again in a couple of days. Bye.